Taking a look now at our community calendar, Port Allegheny Elementary School is going to be holding kindergarten registration on Tuesday, March 5th, and then again on the 6th, the hours for that between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. A big fish story, action figure Obama and a weightlifter big on heart. The video that we'll have you talking is coming up right now and take a look at this. Take a look at this. This tour group got quite the fish tail to share while boating off the coast of Hawaii's big island. The tourists had just finished swimming with the dolphins when another supersized sea creature decided to join them. According to the tour company, a female humpback whale swam around the boat for about 30 minutes and even gave the group a dramatic tail end wave. Move over G.I. Joe, there's a new action figure in town and he's packing heat. A Connecticut toy company is hoping to cash in on a recently released photo of President Obama skeet shooting at Camp David. The doll comes with its own hunting rifle and a clay pigeon t-shirt. President Obama isn't the only political figure to be immortalized in action figure form. The company also makes VP Joe Biden and a schoolgirl version of Sarah Palin. Take a look at this weightlifter. Vince Brasco doesn't let his size get in the way of bench pressing more than the average Joe could even dream about. The four foot one bodybuilder can bench press 285 pounds, triple his body weight. I only weigh 92 pounds. With big weight comes big dreams. His goal is to bench press 300 and to compete in competitions. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jonathan Binder. Let's get a check of the weather now from WVTT's Jim Rinaldi. Our winter storm is taking shape off the Atlantic coast a little bit further east than was expected, and therefore our snow totals are not going to be quite as high as we thought, but we're still going to see snow, and some of it will be heavy. We're going to have a winter weather advisory through the night tonight into the first part of the day tomorrow for total accumulations of 4 to 8 inches. We'll have lows tonight around 12 degrees. Some sunshine returns later in the day tomorrow as high pressure builds in, the high 24. It'll be clear to partly cloudy and colder for tomorrow night. Lows ranges from 6 in the higher elevations to 10 in the lower elevations. We'll see sunshine on Sunday with high pressure and control. Temperatures range from 36 in the higher elevations to around 40 in the lower elevations. Then the next storm heads up for the Great Lakes for Sunday night into Monday. We'll start with freezing rain, then change to plain rain on Monday. I'm WVTT, so other action team meteorologist Jim Rinaldi on WVTT. Depend on it.